okay you have been working really hard in the garden it's time to wrap up but wait now you need to clean all your tools <laughs> it's a daunting job i really never want to do and through the very beginning as we were learning the different things that was the worst thing for me exhausted after a long day working in the garden and we went on a hunt to try to find a different way to do this much more easily one because the often items you use to clean yourselves uh, in a more sort of high street retail way of um, growing your own crops are just toxic chemical it's not very permaculture like there has to be a better way now we found this uh, other way in an article and i just can't find the, the reference back so bear with me the way that you do it is trying to mimic how nature looks after those different elements so come over here and let me show you the different things that you may need if you want to use this couple of items one is to have camellia oil which is a natural oil uh, rapeseed relator cold press you can get bigger pots um, and that is very good because it helps the metals from your tools um, and the other item main items that you need is just sand just simple sand um, that you can take from building supplies or perhaps uh, a neighbor has I don't know if you want to have a look closer and that's all you need get a bucket put the two things together sand and oil let the oil really get into all the different sand mix it about a bit and that's it and at the end of the day you have all your different tools when it's all well mixed you just pop them in there and forget about it until the next time you need to use it this cleans the tools uh, this takes uh, any issue that you may have on the on the ground and uh, it's just as simple as that have a much bigger one for your other bigger tools uh, and that's it just put them in there when you finish and that's all you need to do and um, it's really good as well to remove rust from tools so you will sort of try to create some friction in between the sand and the tool in question and then wipe it with anything really and it will remove uh, rusty bits of your tools as well and that is it same camellia oil pop them there when you finish you're good to go you just want time back so to give you an example we found this hook as you can see it's pretty rusty so what i'm gonna do is give it a few digs down in here And already it's looking so much better. You can see it there. So if I left it just in there for a little while, the rest would come off. I'd wipe it, job done.